Ah, sun-drenched Sunday. So what's new in the yard this spring that can make your yard work easier? Let's check it out. I'm Ron Weingarts with Weingarts Supply. Here to talk about some lawn maintenance tips. Let's talk about maintenance straight away here. So what do we have here? Well, uh, first thing is to check your air filter, make sure it's clean. Here's a dirty filter. What happens uh, if it's dirty? It basically, uh, the, the engine can't breathe, so it'll fall spark plugs. You have uh, lower engine performance, so it's just not gonna perform to, up to the to the standards you want it to. Easy to replace. Easy to replace, just pop a new one in and make a big difference. How about the blade? The blade is extremely important. It's, uh, have a, a sharp blade um, and if your blade is wore like this tip is wore off you just want to replace that the blades we can sharpen right while you wait so if you stop in the store we can while you wait sharpen. Wait. I like that but then here's a fresh blade here so yep yeah sometimes so if you do need you're sharpening year after year might be time for might a be just time for a new one yeah that's right your blower's not uh, firing up first yeah time so generally if once you replace the air filter if it's still not starting or not running right a good idea like here's a false spark plug Put a new spark plug in, inexpensive and easy. Um, and, and generally between the air filter and spark plug, that solves a lot of the, a lot of the starting gas problems. Because some gas cans last in garages for decade after decade, but sometimes it's, I've replaced them because mine starts leaking. Yeah, yeah, well, and, and what's nice with this, this is called a no spill. So some of the some small equipment, you know, you spill gas all over everywhere. This has got a nice little shut off. So when you let go, and that'll uh, the fuel uh, stops. breathe and vent itself. And breathe and vents. And, and the other thing is very important is to, to have the proper fuel. Um, this E85 fuel is just, this small equipment doesn't run well on it. So you want to run fuel with 10% ethanol or less. And you always start with a good fresh fuel to start the season as well. Let's head outside. Okay. So new chainsaw. Yeah, well, this is a small still, so if you have just some small pruning work around the house, it's a handy tool, handy tool to have. Still makes all different sizes, but this is a nice, small, lightweight. But it looks like it has some serious power. It's still, yeah, 16 inch bar and chain, and so still if you want to do some firewood and some, uh, you still do some serious cutting. How much is this one? This one's 159, so very affordable for a nice little saw. Ron, I like this leaf blower. This is different here. What is this rotation control? Well, this rotational control, because it comes out on an angle, a lot of blowers, when you're running them, they'll kind of want to turn sideways. So this is a lot easier on your wrist because it'll keep the blower, blower stream straight. So just a more comfortable design. Uh, this Echo has been an extremely popular blower over the years. Got great power, yet it's very light. It's under 10 pounds. Um, and just a very dependable, one of those staples in the garage. Everybody needs a good, good hand blower. I mean, every every spring something new comes out like this, huh? Yeah, yeah. There's always you know innovations in products. Uh, they're basically getting them lighter, more powerful. Um, and even on the hand blowers, they've got different models that, uh, and they can get them even into the backpack. So if you do have a little more to maintain, um, they've got smaller, lighter weight backpacks now geared for the home use. All right, Ron, here we have a Honda mower. Yeah, this is a Honda. This is their top of the line. Uh, this actually has a Xenoid deck. It's plastic, so Ooh. less vibration it doesn't the rust. Deck. It's um, plastic, doesn't rust. I'm interested here. I'm focused on this key because yeah. there's no pull cord. No pull cord. So you just tap the key and uh, electric start. It'll start it automatically. Electric, That is that the future of mowers, basically? Well, it's been around for a long time, but it's gotten, the technology's better and it's gotten more affordable. So it's getting definitely much more popular. So a lot of people that may have a hard time pulling a rope, electric start is a great great way to go. So this is for a sizable lawn? Yeah, this is if somebody wants, you know, it has a larger lawn or wants the, the top of the line machine, this this is as good as they get. But Honda also makes some mowers. You can get a good self propelled mower starting at three ninety nine. Which will, do a, which will do a great job for you. Oh, for sure. But this one's got all the bells and whistles here. And then the transmission? What is yeah, this, this all Yeah, this is about? something unique. This is actually a, a hydrostatic drive. So this is what you find in like a lawn tractor. Um, so there's no, um, uh, uh, there's no gears or anything. It's all hydraulic. So you can shift right on the go to change your walking speed slower or faster right as you're walking. Very nice. No rust, key start, electric start, and you got the transmission there. $800 for this one? Yeah, this one's $800. But yep. you have other Hondas that are obviously... Yeah, we've got them starting at $350 for a good Honda mower. Ron, love learning from you. Thank you. All right, thank you. Thanks, Ron. If you have something you want me to feature here on ClickOnDetroit.com, drop me an email. S-L-E-Y at W-D-I-V. Look forward to hearing from you.